Well, Democrats plunged their rhetorical knives into the Clintons. Hillary Clinton is looking further afield to explain the collapse of her family's political dynasty. On Saturday, Hillary claimed her husband would never have become president if that dastardly Fox News has existed back in 1992. Watch. Unfortunately, our body politics immune system has been impaired because there has been a concerted effort starting with the creation of the Fox network. Uh, it wasn't there when Bill first ran. It was one of the reasons he probably survived. They're delivering partisan advocacy positions, irrespective of the truth, the facts, the evidence. It's a germ in the body politics like Ebola. Mark Stein is another person who might have derailed the Clintons back in 92. Lucky for them, he was still writing about the arts at the time. <laughs> he joins us now. I mean, what do you, what do you, I, I hate to agree with Mika Brzezinski, but maybe she was onto something when she said that Mrs. Clinton, Secretary Clinton should, you know, stop talking about this stuff. I think so. This is this was their 25th anniversary gala of the great Clinton victory of 1992. And there were the two of them there with uh, James Carville. And you've got to bet that there were a lot of big shot Democrats uh, who were invited to that who are no shows. That's I mean, right. to go back to go back to what Tammy was was talking about. The, the Democrats uh, are like this on everything. You know, they didn't care. They weren't worried about the Russians during the Cold War. 25 years after it ends, they're worried about the Russians. They weren't worried about Bill Clinton's behavior when he was in the White House. 25 years later, uh, the senators are now saying, oh, yes, he should have resigned over Monica Lewinsky. The New York Times uh, ran a piece a couple of days ago called I Believe Juanita. Well, you know, I, I wrote my I Believe Juanita piece uh, in, I'm, I'm going to remember the exact date, February 25th, 1999, in the National Post of Canada. So I was, I was right 18 and a half years ago when it mattered. And as Tammy said, uh, they all knew uh, that uh, what Bill Clinton was doing, and it didn't matter. They trashed those women. There were all kinds of women. He liked all kinds of women. He liked young women, old women, svelte women, full-figured women, all kinds of women. And no matter what, he liked um, upper-middle-class women. He liked women from trailer park. He liked women generally. And no matter what kind of woman he trashed, uh, the Democrats piled on in destroying all those women. Yeah, I noticed it vividly. So what do you make of Hillary Clinton saying out loud, if Bill Clinton had been covered by a real news organization, Fox News, mm. he never would have been president? That's not really an attack on Fox News. It seems more like a compliment to me. Yeah, because a couple of minutes after that, they admitted that, in a sense, they faked his victory in New Hampshire. He lost the New Hampshire oh, I primary. To Paul Songus. Uh, to Paul Songus, who no one remembers now. Uh, but yeah. he, he stood on stage and declared himself the comeback kid. And at that time, ABC, CBS, NBC, and CNN, which is all there was, yeah. went along with the comeback kid uh, narrative. Just as when all the sex stuff came up, uh, they went along with the old news, nothing to see here, time to move on narrative. Uh, and had Fox News been around, I've no doubt I can imagine Sean uh, Hannity doing one of his opening uh, monologues, uh, pointing out that, in fact, Paul Songus was the winner in New Hampshire, and, and it uh, was nothing to do with Bill Clinton and his comeback kid. I mean, that... But uh, it would have been a very different environment for them. But was, should she admit that, that the only reason he won is because the press was tame and obedient and refused to cover the actual news? I mean, that's what she's saying. That, that's what they want, Tucker. I, I mean, don't forget, I mean, what is it that Bill Clinton, why are we in a mess now? Why shouldn't, I mean, look at it this way, why shouldn't Al Franken grope a woman? It's because the media told us it doesn't matter being a pig. Uh, character doesn't matter. Uh, the fact that Clinton uh, was a successful president meant anything he did in his private life was irrelevant. And the Democrats told us back then in the 90s, everybody does it. And now, as the opening of your show uh, has pointed out, everybody does do it. They do it in Hollywood. They do it in Minnesota. They do it in the halls of Congress. They've got respected PBS anchors walking around naked in front of female, and I don't mean Big Bird, uh, other ones walking around naked in front of female staffers. It's, uh, 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 where did that come from? Every, 
Everybody didn't do it until Bill Clinton re-established droit du seigneur on an industrial scale. <laughs> Mark Stein, like nobody else. Thank you, Mark.